Welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome back to Storm Dennis which is currently making this van rock all over the place. I'm sorry for the shaky footage. Hope you can hear me okay anyway. Um, we're going to jump straight into the testing video now. Remember we did the inspection about two or three videos, two or three weeks ago, about two videos ago. Um, I'm going to jump into the testing side of things now. If you remember from the inspection side of it, it was a little bit ropey, a little bit problems and just the, the usual issues that I seem to find myself in, involved with. Well, now I'm going to go over it in a test it with the testing side of it and I'll take a few things off and show you what I find and what the results are, uh, including a couple of interesting ones as well. So hang on in there. Um, jump straight into it now and I'll catch you back here in about 23 minutes. Hopefully I found a better place for the light to hang off the door, which will uh, spread a bit more, a bit better lighting for, for uh, being able to see and stuff. Right, I've disconnected a few circuits here, guys. This one, this one down here is going to the alarm. This one is going to the doorbell up there. This is you know, part of all the, the uh, solar panels and stuff. So they're pulled out of the board and I'm basically down to four circuits. Sockets, sockets, shower and lights. Um, I've labelled the sockets up, put a bit of pen on it. You see there's two notches on that one and one notch on the other one, just to so I can identify the circuits. Should things start getting a bit mess messed up in there or anything. Um, right, this potential shower, well, we'll link it together and go and see what leading to get up there. There is actually no shower in the property, so it's interesting to see what's going on at the isolator. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, I'll get it all linked up together now and... Um, want to see what leading to the upstairs and what it looks like in the isolator. Now just before I wander off upstairs, uh, out of uh, sight of the installation or certainly the uh, the business end of the installation at the board here, I thought I'd just to mention the fact that basically because there's no one else in the house, um, I'm the only one in the building. It's an empty property. I feel confident enough to just walk away from that as it is. The front door's locked, no one's coming in, and as I gather all my bits and pieces to go upstairs and get a bit, of, get some readings, do a bit of testing and inspecting on the uh, the shower isolator, I feel confident enough to know that nothing's going to suddenly become live, and certainly no one's suddenly going to become, uh, you know, getting shocked or even worse. Yeah. Let's get ready to know that in a minute. Right, I've took the front off this, or at least I've unscrewed the screws, and I'm getting a bit of resistance on the cables there. I don't mean resistance, I just mean it's springing back. Um, thought I'd just, oh dear, thought I'd pull the camera in just to show you what's to be experienced at this stage. So there's all manner of problems going on there. Uh, you can see if it's focusing all right for you. I'll try and hold the light steady. Uh, right, we've got cables taped up with uh, with insulation tape. We've got conductors showing. We've got serious signs of overheating. Um, there's some neons come out. The neons come out. You can't see this, but off camera, I've just shoved the pen, little pencil torch I've got in my hat so that it gives me a free hand here. I hope that helps. Oh, they've used the, a piece of, this is the CPC, which just came out quite easily. Uh, what else have we got there? Some more tape going on underneath at the, at the bottom there. It's just dreadful, isn't it? It's just not good. It's, uh, yeah, it's not good. I'm going to try and get some readings from this and uh, work out which is what's going where and stuff like that. But certainly, the shower's not in use. There's no shower in the property at all. Then I'm not quite sure what this is even doing and why it's even powered up. Maybe we can uh, we can disconnect it if, uh, if we are doing some updates and stuff. And so I've identified which is uh, live in, if you like, you know, coming from the board, and which is uh, which is live out. I'm going to connect up there, 
and it, they are they are quite horrendous connections, but I've at least got a bit of copper to uh, bite down onto. Obviously, nulled the resistance in the clips and the leads. Uh, we're getting the zero point one one there. Um, so yeah, that's that's that read. I will try it again now with the neutral. Flip it, flip it over down at the board. <laughs> Back upstairs. My little torch is dying. I'm going to have to go and get the head torch out or batteries for the head torch. Let me see what's going on there. Uh, yeah, get some. Uh, 0.07. Right, let's send 500 volts through it. So we'll connect up crocodile, one croc on there, one croc on the uh, neutral there. And obviously they're both live, live conductors. So on the 500 volt scale, turn the light back on so you can see. I really hate putting my um, my tools, my equipment, my, especially my tester, in, um, in certain areas. You know, it's full of snails and slugs and spiders and just... You know, even even some properties, you just don't want to plug your stuff into like greasy sockets and switches. That's horrendous uh, downside of doing things sometimes. But yeah, nothing a, a bag of big wipes won't deal with and sort out and uh, get a bit of a wipe over. Right, where are we now? So insulation, 500 volts, connected up there. Uh, let's let's, uh, let's get, get in focus and give it a blast. Uh, laughing, it says. Laughing. I'm going to connect up uh, between live conductors and earth. Let's see what kind of reading we get there. Oh, sorry, I'm working away there and just showing you the meter for no reason. So uh, it looks a bit chaotic, to be honest, but it's 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 fine. We've linked, linked out live and neutral there, and then that'll be the test between both live circuit, both live conductors, and uh, you can see at the, at the back there it's connected to Earth. So let's give it another blast. Right, over scale again, plus 999. So, uh, yeah, cable's fine. It's just what it's doing that's the problem. You know, there's no real, real need for it if there's no shower, is there? I guess we could just not put it back in the board or blank it up there put a blank on it terminate them um certainly if you're going to go ahead and change the board on this thing uh, which i should imagine we'll be doing we're not going to put a, 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 a shower circuit into it but who knows what's going to happen who knows and uh, who knows god knows where the uh, <laughs> the outgoing to to an earth with that shower at that shower isolator, God knows where that's going. It's probably just going up into the loft somewhere. Yeah. Right, we're going to do a bit of ring continuity, or at least see if there's any any ring continuity at all on these things. You can see I've uh, put my own CPC, well, own sleeving over the CPC because, uh, well, the sleeving that they had, was, it was all twisted together and using that old stuff there. So I put my own stuff on there. So the, uh, yeah, the, the meat... Uh, is nulled or the leads are all nulled. Let's see if we've got any. Where are we up to there? You can hear me beeping it and everything just out of uh, out of shot. So we got 0 0.22 on the line. Let's see, we've got the neutral 0 0.21. We're near the full house. Put it back on here now. Uh, Zero, that's yeah, 0 0.53. Right, 0 0.53. So, um, if we get the calculator out a second, um, this is this is one of those tricky ones again. So, based on the age of the installation, is this? Can you even see this? Let's get the calculator out again. So, if we, so what did I say it was? 0 0.22. Did I say it was? Let me have a look. 0 0.0, 0 point, start again, 0 0.22, 
Um, and if we do times 1.67, we get 0 0.36 or 0 0.37 thereabouts for the, for the CBC. But we didn't get that, did we? We got 0 0.53, I think. So and that's because the CPC is 1 mil. So what we have to do is a different calculation, basically. 0 0.22, which is the resistance to the line. Um, and then we uh, times it by 2.5, 0 0.55. And that's what we got there or thereabouts. We got 0 0.53, I think. That's pretty much what we've got. Um, so it's a slightly different calculation to do there when you come across some 1 mil. CPC, it is old, they've not done it for, I think they did it, I mean I'm not quite sure, I can't quite remember the dates and stuff, I'm not going to rush out and find them like the second, but I think it's like, it dates back to like late 60s or 70s and stuff like that, I think they kind of stopped it completely, maybe in a law sense from the 80s onwards, I'm not too sure, but yeah, that's what you do when you've got uh, one mil CPC to find out what's going on. Anyway, we can still add those readings together and go up and uh, find where what where, what's uh what i want our two readings we should be getting and uh, whether they're up or down or kitchen or wherever they are in the house now we'll cross in interconnect as it were is it called interconnect interlink the out of one the in of the other the in of the other the out of the other you know you know the situation by now um so yeah so he goes to he and he goes to him and then we go and find uh we go and find she right as you can see we're in the kitchen and uh it's uh that one strap well that one cable coming down there uh with the, with the damaged surface back box i am getting a reading i'm just going to rock the rocker get the state of this this is what i'm talking about leaving you using your equipment your expensive equipment it's all expensive you know everyone's no matter what make or brand or anything you go with, it's all really good top make, high spec equipment. And we just got to go and plug it into this crap. Um, anyway, so I'm getting at least getting a reading off that 0 0.40. Uh, the expected reading, if you add 0 0.22 to, uh, I think it was 0 0.53 on the CPC, uh, you're looking for about 0 0.19. So yeah, it's a, with this being a spur, we were never going to get that. So I'm going to try a few of the different sockets now, especially in the kitchen, and uh, see what this uh, circuit is, what with there not being any labelling at all. Excuse the sirens, guys. We are in Manchester, don't forget. Um, right, I've just plugged it in the kitchen. Same, same, uh, well, same area, same kitchen. Plugged it into this uh, socket here that I'd previously taken off, and I'm not getting anything whatsoever. Nothing. So that's that's probably not connected to the same circuit. Moving over to the boiler socket. God, look at the grease on that thing. Right, we are getting a reading here of some sort. I really should be wearing gloves for this. I think I'll go and get them, actually. Uh, so rocking the rocker has, has added a bit of resistance, I think. It's... We're doing there so 0 0.49 if I, if I keep the camera on there as i do the rocker jesus yeah it's not, not not looking good plug it into the other side and get it even more filthy and full of chip fat 0 0.47 right so the highest highest we've got so far has been in the six twos region hasn't it what's that saying now five two right okay 0 0.52 I'm going to go rest of the house and see what else is on this circuit. Oh, I wondered where you'd gone. Yeah, I'd left you up here dealing with that nonsense. All right, socket. That's a bit... It is a bit loose, isn't it? I'll just uh, put some lighting on the scene. Light the place up a little bit. It is a bit shaky. What do you expect from a vlog style? So, yeah, we've got it. 
certainly majorly wobbly socket going on there. But we am getting a reading. 0 0.21 as well, so it's quite close to 0 0.19. I'll go and check out uh, what's going on in the, uh, the front room there. What the hell is this? Frankenstein bloody phone charger. Oh yeah, every iPhone on the planet is like this. You can't even see because it's not focusing, but I can show you. I can assure you every iPhone phone charger is like that. Anyway, where were we? Have we got a reading here? My goodness, on the button, you wouldn't believe it. So it's beginning to look like, not Christmas, but it's beginning to look like the kitchen sockets are on with the, are on with the upstairs sockets. Oh, I spoke too soon. Unless there's a, a cable, a cable out the back or who knows what's going on with this thing. I'll have a look. Yeah, we're, we've got three cables there, but we've certainly got no uh, connection. Um, so I've either spoke too soon with the upstairs and the kitchen being on the same, or maybe we're uh, present and correct. Well, we're present, but we're not correct. We're not, not connected somewhere. So who knows what's going on with that? Right, we're going to have a look at here. Uh, there's two more bedrooms to look at, each with one single socket each. Wow. Go and have a look at them. Right. Well, the, the meter made a noise, so we've got something going on. 0.18 on that one. And that just remains the back bedroom to go and have a look at now. Yeah, you can see, uh, you can see I've been here. I've been here before, just messing around. Have a look. We've got a reading on there, 0 0.38. Again, that's spurdish or singled or whatever. So oh, it's moving as well as I move it. Right, so there's nonsense going on there as well, isn't there? Oh dear. So I can reveal, guys, that uh, this is the actual end of line on the lighting circuit. Uh, well, I've obviously connected the crop clip up there and all the leads again. I'm getting about, it's quite unstable, but it's settling around the 60s mark. That's just due to me uh, not pushing on hard enough. You know, six, 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 I think we saw it there. Right, let's obviously skip, skip through a few stages of the uh, procedure here, but uh, never mind. Um, I mean, I've, I've done them, I've just not filmed them, that's all, so it's... Uh, yeah, they were doing the insulation resistance on the lights now, by the way, on the lighting circuit. Like I said, explained before, I've disconnected the other two one mil circuits. Um, so I'm going to connect one up to obviously the, the neutral, the, the, sorry, ooh, the earth bar, and uh, connect this one up. Interlink, live and neutral there, so they're the same. And we'll, we'll see what kind of... Um, Reading we get, turn the light back on. <clears throat> right, what's um, so we're connected up there, we're connected up here. Ah, see, so this is shut up. This is the problem. This is the problem we get when we're uh, we're trying to modernise an installation or add anything onto it. So imagine we went ahead and uh, uh, changed the consumer unit here, for instance. Uh, as soon as you put power to the um, the RCD or the, uh, the the fuse, turn the power to that lighting circuit, the RCD is going to trip because there's an existing fault. And the age of this place, you know, how long has that fault been in there? Probably 10, 20, 30 years. Who knows? Who cares? I guess, but. It certainly had no testing, um, no evidence of any testing. And, and and my thoughts are, you know, it's that bad now. Is it going to be a full rewire? I mean, there's like one socket in each room. The problem with the lights, 
Should we just go and find the problem on the lights and leave the lights? Should we just add on to the single sockets that are there, change them to doubles and uh, just add on? Uh, upgrade the earth to the to the, the main bonding, sorry, to the water and gas. Put a new board on. Lots of things to talk about and um, lots of, I uh, guess, ways to price it as, as well. So we can, uh, you know, maybe, is it a full rewire time? Certainly not had one of those for 40 years with the kind of readings and results and uh, types of cables and stuff we've got here. Or is it just a bit of a patch up, uh, an update? And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get on with. Um, yeah. And heating system's a bit dodgy as well. All right, everyone, I've uh, rebuilt the board, as you can see, and put it all back together as, uh, as best as I can. And um, obviously all the connections nice and tight. Now I just thought I'd show you if, if the, the actual um, fuse carriers, the uh, rewirable fuses here. Show you these, if, if you can indeed see them. Can you see them? Yeah. Just, um, just uh, yeah, the condition of them and stuff. They're not, they're not too bad. This one, certainly the lighting one, it's, uh, it's had its fair share of changed fuse wire over the, over the years. But then again, that, that IR result we saw, I'm not surprised. We've got to put that one back in. Um, ooh, sockets, yeah. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, again, there's signs of overheating on them, on all of them, I think. But and then, um, yeah, you can see that one's had its a few explosions in there. If you can, you even see that. I'm, 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 I'm I do want you to be able to see it because there's no point in me doing it if you can't see it. I guess there's a problem with the focusing, isn't there? So. This is not going to work, is it? Anyway, uh, it is pretty dark in there, but yeah, so that's the signs of overheating on that. I think it's to be expected, I guess. A 40 year old installation. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you see this one? I'm trying to show you the torch. You see, they've gone on the outside with the fuse wire. They've, uh, they've gone on the inside as well. They've also gone on the outside. <laughs> Twisted it round. My God, take a picture of that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna throw that back in. Okay, and we'll power up. Various lights and fluorescence and stuff coming on. And we're going to take a couple of ZS readings. Oh God, this socket again. Um, right, so obviously he's live now. We've got some juice going on. Uh, on the loop scale, we, yeah, we don't actually, there's no RCD in there. There's nothing's gonna trip. We'll plug that in there and uh, see what's going on. 2.59. What's this one? What's this one saying? In. For it's full of grease, this thing. I did say I was going to get some gloves, but a bit too far away being in the van. Should keep some in my bag. 2.65. Right, guys, we're pretty much finished here at this job. Uh, all I'm doing is going around uh, every room, checking everything's okay as I left it, pretty much, if not better. I've got a blank here, I'm going to shove on the shower isolator, I've disconnected the board uh, and put it in a terminal block in that kind of um, surface back box on the wall. And I, I'm just, I just put a blank on it and I, I usually write on the back who I am, the date, if it's disconnected, what it is, the shower, stuff like that. Bit of info for if anyone pulls that off in the future uh, and just says, oh right, it was done by this person for this reason on this date. And uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and go upstairs, shove that on, get the tools out, clear off. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here because uh, otherwise I'm going to get washed away. Um, 
What do you think of them test readings? They eh? a bit ropey, weren't they? A bit, bit, bit crazy to be honest. A bit bad, really, weren't they? Um, rewire, do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Um, so that's that's that pr job pretty much dealt with. Um, Rhino Trade Insurance. We're still doing it. Still doing the 10% discount code. So yeah, if you want to save yourself 10% on uh, trade insurance, so that's like tool cover with the uh, tools in transit cover and also the professional indemnity, public liability, that kind of thing. I have it, I use it, and um, yeah, I, I just thought I'd offer you 10% on uh, any of your insurances. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and click and uh, check out their website and the phone number and stuff, and you can just, don't forget to use the JBEC10 discount code and uh, get yourself 10% off, okay? Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it here right now before I get, like I say, washed away, and I will catch up with you next time. Uh, on the next upload, uh, hopefully not in the middle of a storm.